You guys have asked for it, like, a lot. So I'm finally here giving you guys a full tour of my Notion setup. Literally everything that's on my Notion. If you haven't heard about or used Notion in the past, which I hadn't either two years ago and now my life is dependent on it, Notion is kind of like an all-in-one workspace. You can put in calendars, track your progress, study for exams, put in your exam revision schedule, collaborate on projects with other people, plan your YouTube videos. Notion is fully customizable and flexible to work with so you can set it up and use it in a way that works for you. Use it for exactly what you want it to do for you. This video is kindly sponsored by Notion, which is actually in Saint for me because I've been using Notion for such a long time and it really feels amazing to be validated by a brand you literally use and depend on for your existence. If you're not currently using Notion then use my sign up link which will be in the description box below and without further ado let's get into this video. I have my computer right here and a desk in front of me. Let's uh, get right into this. Okay so welcome into my Notion. This is Madeline's Notion. I actually have a few on here. I'm also on the Dance Society Notion plan where I collaborate with my fellow dance society committee members but that's not really what we're gonna go in depth on today we're gonna focus on my personal plan which is where everything in my life kind of happens so yeah this is where all work happens currently this is my landing page because I'm working this whole summer on different types of things but when I'm at university and that's like my main thing that's going on in my life the university page is the page I land on so I just move this to the top here so first here we have a little camera because um, doing content creation is kind of what I do. I also have a bunch of masterly things. And on the other side here we have other work I do for other people. Moving further down we have my week ahead. I actually changed this a little bit so it looks a bit more simplistic and minimalistic than I did in the past. How it works is that I just press here and I get a new to do and I can just put in different things that I have to do on each day of the week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and then Saturday and Sundays over here. Yeah so we have all the things that I have planned in a week right on here and whenever I've done the thing then I'll just click it like this and after a full day is complete then I move all of the stuff into archive and then I can start again. Moving further down this is where my video ideas are so I'm not going to go through everything that's on here because there are a lot of video ideas that I have and videos that I haven't started filming that I'm not going to share with you but I'll go through like how it looks so I call this my cloud. There's two types of video ideas that I come up with one of them is like vlog style another one is sit downs or maybe it's more of like a DIY video. The next kind of area I have is film before summer holiday but normally this is just called to do. And then moving further down, this is all videos that you guys have probably seen on my channel already. Yeah, this is where I put all my videos. I can just drag them over like this. One thing I love about this little setup of the cloud that I have is that I can kind of see where I'm in the progress of all my videos but I can also open these pages up like yeah, let's click this one um, and write in it so I'll write like a brief little manuscript of what I want to say in the video or what kind of ideas that I have and whenever I'm doing a video with a brand or with a friend who's filming or anything else like that I'll invite them to the page so I'll just go to share and share the link you see I've already done it here and other people can come in and read all on what I've already written and it makes it super easy to collaborate with other people. Sponsors or the friends photographers that I'm bringing in to help me with the video will ask me like what do you want me to do blah blah blah. And it's so much easier just to invite them to the page than having to send a separate email or having a call to discuss exactly what we're doing. So Notion really makes it super easy for me to collaborate with other people which is really really great. Further down we have a recent addition to this page which is stuff to look out for. This is a little calendar that I recently put in. I have not a lot of stuff because I don't really have any set like I have very few set things in my life currently other than like meetings and videos that need to go up and the day I'm going on holiday oh and my my vaccine but otherwise there's not really that much on my calendar but I like having it here anyway because I can scroll down once in a while like twice a week maybe and see what kind of plans or like set deadlines I have coming up so that's really great and that's my whole like work dashboard so let's dive in a little bit deeper to all the pages that I have inside this work platform so first of all we have my new region channel and here we also have a bunch of video ideas similar to the way that the English channel video ideas are set up. I also have collaborations. This is kind of different brands that I wanted to work with and different YouTubers I wanted to collaborate with that I just put down on a list. So this page is super simple. Next one is online courses. This has nothing on it, literally. It was just a couple of ideas that I had for an online course. I had some ideas jotted down if I wanted to do an online course, but I haven't really worked on this much. Next up is book ideas. So you can tell 
for my notion like there I'm jotting down a bunch of ideas here is where I'd put like different book ideas that I'd have if I wanted to write a book and the next one is money and here's where I track all of my expenses for YouTube and I try to put in the um, receipt as well so I have that here so I can just quickly like see that next up is my TikTok page so TikTok I recently started I think it's really really fun and I have all my video ideas planned out here other work here's some student website ideas that I had so there's a bunch of names that I jotted down and here you can see my boyfriend in the corner so I invited him to the page he went over all these names and like we voted together and blah 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 it was really fun right in this case Notion really worked for me like a drive document when you invite different people and they can all work at the same time so it can be a really good collaborative tool as well we have work hours here I track the different work hours that I do for different brands we also have uh, Maya which is a internship that I had last summer and here I track the different hours that I worked I also collaborated actually with my uh, manager on this document so I invited her and she would put in or look over my to do's and the different things that I would have to do like the stories I would have to post we kind of worked on this document together and added in different things that I needed to do and complete throughout the week. Oh my god, so many pages. <laughs> Next up is internships. So here I wrote different companies that I wanted to work for. You can do this if you're applying to internships as well, like have a similar document and kind of track your progress. Okay, so that was my full work page. There's a lot on here, but it's getting to a point where I like really, really like working with this page and it's gonna go through changes in the future as well, but currently it works really well for me. The next thing I have is life. I have a little, it's the life page. <laughs> quote and then I have my main stuff so here's my student budget where I try to budget my apartment expenses and I try to set up like a little like how much I should spend in a month kind of spreadsheet here we have my potential flats before we moved in I put down all the different houses and flats that we wanted to look at the prices and the link so we could kind of have it in a spreadsheet like there's a lot as you can tell so this was very useful we also have our new flat which is another page where I put everything Thing that I need to remember to do before I move into the new flat, which is which is here. <laughs> Get Wi-Fi, register for water, blah blah blah. Having a document like this really saved me a lot of time and like stress because it was very stressful to move. That was great. So that's my main type stuff. Uh, we have other. We have some travel ideas here. I put a lot of travel ideas, but uh, there hasn't been a lot of travel in the past year. So, <laughs> but me and my boyfriend, when we planned our trip or when we planned his trip to London, we actually co-made this document together, which was so much fun. Like if you're traveling with a friend, invite them to Notion, invite them to like your your own travel page kind of. We jotted in all the different things that we wanted to do in London, where they were, what kind of theme they were. And, like this was so much fun. We had so many different ideas. It was just a really fun way to like plan a trip. I also wrote him a little list of what to pack when he went to see me in London because I missed a couple of things from Norway and then he could tick this off himself when he actually picked it up. So uh, yeah, this worked really, really well. <laughs> Next is books that I wanna read. So I put in a couple of the books that I wanted and I and I bought basically definitely haven't used this enough because I just haven't been reading enough next is my wish list so here we have a bunch of things that I wanted to buy sometimes I go online and I want to you know shop some new clothes and I'm not completely sure and they're a bit out of my budget I'll put them down on a wish list and I'll reevaluate like a month later do I still want this it's a better way for me to buy clothes that are a little bit more expensive because I'll actually have to like think about it for a month instead of doing an impulse buy for an expensive item yeah the rest of this page is literally important to remember stuff so there's the COVID test that I did when I came to London and there's the NHS number that I have and then under here I have a bunch of to-dos so I can just add a to-do maybe when I travel back to Norway I'll have a bunch of stuff that I need to do in terms of COVID testing registering my vaccine doses and blah 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 so I'll add this here but currently it's very very empty but that's the little life page I think it works really well it's super small but it does the job and if I ever have more stuff in my life going on I'll add it all to here so it's nice having a page for um, next up we have my university page so this has definitely seen better days I wouldn't say better days honestly like this is seeing its best day right now because it is so clean and like there's nothing on here you have all the stuff that I've done my exams my essays my research reports my group presentations everything is done it looks beautiful obviously in the middle of the year like this would all be spread out like this um, in different boxes and I would drag them to wherever they need to be and when my whole life would be about uni I would put all my to-dos under here and all the things I would have to do would be in boxes under the week ahead to explain 
explain very quickly, when I'm at university and all I do is study, I like this to be the first page that I log into so that I see like all my courses, everything that I need to do immediately. But currently, I'm not at university, so I don't need my week ahead to be at my university page. I need it to be next like, to so all my YouTube things that I have to do, and that's why I don't have any plans currently on my week ahead schedule. We also have this, which I added in, and you can tell that we're like, in the middle of my summer holiday. <laughs> Here, I have all the different essays and projects that I need to do and how they're kind of spread over the academic term. It's really nice to have this kind of visual representation of when all the projects are going to be due and when you have to work on them. I don't actively use it, but it's very nice to see where you are in the academic term. These final two pictures are just a representation of how much each of my essays that I'm going to do counts, how much the exam count, and also dates, holidays, and exams, like different dates that are important to remember in the academic term. Okay, so let's go back to the top of this document. So the first thing we have here is my different courses and all of these are done that's marked by the little V. So when the new academic term starts and I'm going to be preparing for that, I will put all of these into year one as I've done with the term one courses, they're all here. On the inside, they're all super similar. They look like this, I have the name of the course, I have a link to the reading list. So this is a URL that's linked directly to my school's university page. I have different things that I need to do. So I would put all my readings on here for each week and like take them off when I did them. Under there, I have different course content. So these are literally all the different lectures and tutorials I had in this course. And I would jot my notes right into this document. So I'd put the learning objectives and then I'd put all my notes in here. I'd organize it by week title, lecture, topic, class mode, and if or not, I'd take in notes from it. Moving further down, I had my reading list. This was all the different readings that I did for this module. And I'd put all the notes for it here as well. So I literally just jot in like all my notes from the different chapters into this document. So this was like the central of that book and kind of arrange it after what week it was and what chapter it was. There's so much in this document. So if you guys want, when university starts again, I'll do a full tour of like how I organize for school. But this is how I do it. It's uh, become a lot, but it works out so well in my head. And when I do the school year as well, obviously you have like 15 weeks to think about all this stuff and constantly add things on the document. So it ends up being quite a lot and it probably looks that way to you guys right now but when I am working on this it makes so much sense and at the bottom we have my graded work so this is the two types of examinations or like testing ways testing ways I'm going to be having in this module so I put my coursework I wrote some stuff that the professor said in here and I had my exam and I also wrote some stuff that the professor said here so super super simple that was a super quick run through but that's basically how I organize all my module pages they're all the same and next to that I have of extracurriculars. Not that I do a lot of extracurriculars, but uh, here's my be active schedule that my school provides. So it's different types of activities that you could do. Here, I didn't actually go to a single be active class this year because they were all cancelled due to COVID. Yeah, I put this in here in case I wanted to like access it quickly. And then I have the Dance Society page. So this is actually a linked page. When I click on it, I'm transferred to another kind of database. So here is where me and all my committee members in the Dance Society collaborate on putting and tasks to each other and all that stuff. So this is me, I'm the graphics and promo officer. So people would put in things that they needed me to do, they would put them in here and I would tick them when I would do them. It would be very nice for people to not just send me a WhatsApp message and say, I need you to do this, but actually put it into a document and then like tag me, you know? That was very, very nice. And I actually love this page and we worked really well together on it. We have a little calendar. So yeah, I link that workspace here. And then on the side, we have a grade calculator. I didn't actually use this, um, I found it a little bit hard to use but you can basically jot in your different grades and it would tell you your average and I think that is all for my university life and work page. So yeah, that was pretty much it for my whole Notion setup. If you're not currently using Notion, make sure to sign up with the link in the description box below. Also, if you're currently using Notion, please comment in the comment section who inspired you. I was personally inspired by Oli Abdal and I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye!